In the last several episodes, we introduced you to a few of our animal ambassadors. This episode, though, we want to dedicate it to a retired ambassador, Scooter the Coyote. But before we go meet Scooter, let's learn about some of the things he helped teach the general public. While coyotes were not originally native to our area, humans are the reason they're here. Humans are responsible for removing the top predators like cougars and wolves through hunting and changing of the landscape. This is what allowed coyotes to expand their range. Essentially, coyotes are here to fill a niche created by humans. However, they do provide several benefits, including rodent control, scavenging, and even seed dispersal. Coyotes cannot effectively reduce deer populations due to not being able to take down an adult deer, but they may slow population growth in high-density areas by predating on fawns. Coyotes are the most vocal of all carnivores, with at least 13 different calls, and one of the most complex communication systems of any mammal in North America. In addition to vocal communication, coyotes use eye contact, body language, facial expressions, and even scent marking to communicate. Scooter was found as a pup on May 1, 2012, by his caretaker, an outreach educator with SREL. Scooter was malnourished, severely dehydrated, and suffering from multiple ant bites on his belly. Attempts to locate his den, siblings, or parents were unsuccessful. He was taken to a local veterinarian for care and quickly recovered. A permit to possess the coyote was obtained from South Carolina DNR, and he became an education animal assisting with SRL outreach programs. Scooter served as an ambassador until the start of the pandemic in 2020. Since our return to educational events after the pandemic, it was decided that Scooter would retire. He's almost 11 years old and has already outlived the life of a wild coyote. Isn't Scooter just the most adorable coyote? Thank you for your service, Scooter. Now, I want you to remember that coyotes do not make good pets and they're actually illegal to have without proper permitting. So just leave the animals in the wild when you find them. And remember, coexistence with wildlife is key. See you next week.